In a world where conflicts and tensions can arise at any moment, having a strong and capable military can be an important aspect of a nation's security and defense. However, it's also crucial to prioritize peace and diplomacy as a means of resolving conflicts and promoting global stability. The existence of large armies can sometimes be a source of concern, but it's important to recognize that military force should always be a last resort. Here are the five largest armies in the world, ranked by the number of active personnel. It's worth noting that the size of an army and its budget do not necessarily reflect the overall military capability or strength of a nation, and that promoting peace and diplomacy should always be the primary goal. China, the People's Liberation Army, PLA, is the largest standing army in the world, with an estimated 2.19 million active personnel. The PLA is composed of ground forces, navy, air force, and strategic missile force. Its budget was estimated at around $179 billion in 2021, making it the second largest defense budget in the world after the United States. The PLA has been undergoing modernization and reform in recent years, with a focus on enhancing its technological capabilities, including the development of advanced weaponry such as hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft, and unmanned vehicles. The current General Secretary of the Communist Party of China and President of the People's Republic of China is Xi Jinping, who also serves as the Chairman of the Central Military Commission, which is the highest military organ in China. India the Indian Army is the second largest army in the world, with an estimated 1.2 million active personnel. It is responsible for the defense of India's borders and territorial integrity. Its budget was around $63 billion in 2021. The Indian Army has been involved in several conflicts, including the ongoing conflict with Pakistan over the disputed region of Kashmir, as well as various peacekeeping missions around the world. The current chief of the army staff is General Manoj Mukun Naravain. United States. The United States Army is the third largest army in the world, with around 1.02 million active personnel. It is the largest and most technologically advanced army in the world. Its budget was estimated at $173 billion in 2021. The United States Army has been involved in numerous conflicts around the world, including the ongoing war in Afghanistan and the fight against ISIS in the Middle East. The current chief of staff of the army is General James C. McConville. North Korea, the Korean People's Army KPA, is the fourth largest army in the world, with an estimated 1.28 million active personnel. The KPA is the main military organization in North Korea and is responsible for the defense of the country. Its budget is not publicly disclosed, but it is believed to be a significant portion of North Korea's overall budget. North Korea has been developing its nuclear and missile capabilities in recent years, which has drawn international condemnation and sanctions. The current Supreme Leader of North Korea is Kim Jong-un, who also serves as the Chairman of the State Affairs Commission, which is the highest military organ in North Korea. Russia. The Russian ground forces are the fifth largest army in the world, with an estimated 900,000 active personnel. The Russian military is composed of ground forces, navy, air force, and strategic missile force. Its budget was around $61 billion in 2021. Russia has been involved in several conflicts in recent years, including its intervention in Syria in support of the Assad regime. The Russian military has also been modernizing and developing new weaponry, including advanced tanks, drones, and hypersonic missiles. The current chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Russia is Valery Gerasimov. It's important to note that the size of an army and its budget do not necessarily reflect the overall military capability or strength of a nation. A variety of factors such as technology, training, and strategic planning can all contribute to military effectiveness. Additionally, it's worth emphasizing the importance of prioritizing peace and diplomacy as a means of resolving conflicts and promoting global stability.